Welcome to the Honda Video HRX217 K6 HZA operation. In this video, we'll show you how to properly operate your Honda lawnmower. Handling and operating a lawnmower can be potentially hazardous to both the operator and those nearby. Never defeat or modify the safety devices on your lawnmower. For complete information regarding the operation of your lawnmower, refer to the owner's manual or visit your Honda Power Equipment dealer. Before operating the lawnmower, let's identify the major components. On the engine, you'll find the fuel tank cap, fuel valve, air filter, oil filler cap, and the muffler. On the mower, there's the handlebar, mower deck, grass bag, wheels, cutting height adjustment levers, clip director knob, and the rear discharge guard. On the handlebar, you'll find the throttle lever, shift lever, key switch, roto stop button, drive clutch lever, blade control lever, and the recoil starter grip. Before operating your lawnmower, it's good to get in the habit of performing pre-checks to help keep you safe and your lawnmower operating properly. Always check the engine oil before starting the engine. To do this, start with the lawnmower on a flat level surface. Loosen and remove the oil filler cap. Using a rag, wipe the end of the dipstick clean and then reinsert it into the filler neck without screwing it in. Remove the dipstick and inspect the oil level. Adjust the oil level so that it's at the upper limit. Reinstall the oil filler cap. Once the oil level is confirmed, inspect the lawnmower for loose components or anything that could possibly pose a safety hazard to you or those around you. Verify that the handlebars are adjusted to a comfortable height for operation. If you wish to change the handlebar height, support the handlebar and then turn the handlebar lock knob so that the knobs are perpendicular to the bar. At that point, the bar can be adjusted up or down to suit your preference. Turning the lock knob so that the knobs are parallel with the handlebar locks the bar into place. No matter the grass type you're attempting to cut, don't cut more than one-third of the total height of the grass, up to a maximum of one inch of grass to be cut. This is to prevent grass clumping and clogging of the grass bag. Your HRX lawnmower has seven settings from three quarters of an inch to four inches in cut height. To adjust the cutting height, first verify that the engine is not running. Pull each adjustment lever toward the wheel and move the lever into the corresponding notch. Be sure to adjust all four wheels to the same height. If you're not sure what height to set your mower, start at a higher setting and lower as needed to achieve the correct height. Gasoline is highly flammable and explosive, and you can be burned or seriously injured when refueling. Stop the engine and let it cool before refueling. Keep heat, sparks, and flame away. Refuel only outdoors and wipe up spills immediately. Your Honda HRX217 lawnmower is designed to run on a pump octane of 86 or higher with an ethanol content of no more than 10%. Before adding fuel, Turn the mower off and allow it to cool, and then move the mower to a flat level surface. Loosen and remove the fuel filler cap. From a clean fuel can, fill the fuel tank up to the ridge in the tank as shown. Wipe up any spills immediately. Then reinstall and tighten the fuel cap until it clicks. Exhaust contains poisonous carbon monoxide gas that can build up to dangerous levels in closed areas. Breathing carbon monoxide can cause unconsciousness or death. Never run the lawnmower in a closed or even partially closed area where people may be present. Before starting, release the drive clutch lever so that the mower does not move when attempting to start. Begin by turning the fuel valve to the on position. Move the throttle lever to the fast position. To start the engine, turn the key switch to the start position until the engine starts then release the key. To start the engine manually, turn the key to the run position. Then, pull the recoil starter grip lightly until you feel resistance, and then pull briskly until the engine starts and runs. Once running, 
gently return the recoil starter grip. To stop the engine, simply turn the key switch to the off position. To use the hydrostatic drive, simply start the engine and move the throttle speed to fast and push the drive clutch lever toward the handlebar until the lawnmower starts to move forward. Use the shift lever to select the forward speed at which you wish to mow. To stop the lawnmower in an emergency, simply release the drive clutch control lever and the blade control lever at the same time. The clip director can be adjusted to any one of the 10 positions to achieve the desired mowing results, which can direct the grass clippings to bag, bag and mulch, mulch, or simply discharge the clippings. To adjust the clip director knob, pull the knob downward and toward the rear of the mower and then slide the knob left or right to your desired setting. The knob adjusts the sliding door from the fully open bag position to the fully closed mulch position. The clip director can also be adjusted in multiple positions to produce different mowing results such as when mulching fallen leaves on the ground. Try a variety of clip director settings to match your specific conditions. To discharge the grass clippings, adjust the clip director knob to bag. Then simply remove the grass bag and allow the discharge bag to return to the lawnmower deck. Using the discharge feature allows the clippings to exit directly behind the mower. To start blade rotation, make sure the engine is running and the throttle lever is in the fast position. Push down and hold the yellow rotostop button. Quickly push the blade control lever against the handlebar, allowing the engine to bring the blades up to full speed. Keeping the blade control lever against the handlebar while moving, the yellow roto stop button will remain engaged. Releasing the blade control lever stops blade rotation, but the engine keeps running, allowing you to empty the grass bag without having to restart the mower. Once the grass bag becomes about 90% full of grass clippings, it's time to empty the grass bag. To remove the grass bag from the mower, simply lift the discharge guard up with one hand. Use your other hand to lift the grass bag up and away by using the grass bag handle. Either place the bag on the ground or lift upward through the handlebars and then empty the bag. When reinstalling the grass bag, Make sure the mower's grass bag channels are not filled with grass clippings. A channel that's filled with grass clippings will cause the grass bag to fall off the lawnmower while mowing. Lift the discharge guard and set the grass bag hooks into the corresponding channels on the lawnmower. Then lower the discharge guard onto the bag, holding the grass bag firmly in place. For complete information regarding the operation of your HRX 217 HZA lawnmower, Refer to the owner's manual or visit your local Honda Power Equipment dealer.